Hello, everyone. Sorry. This fucking guy. You can't. I'll do, do this really awkward thing where you're about to start and I'll just go at the camera. <laughs> I don't know why. Can't <laughs> fucking take this guy anywhere, can you? <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Welcome to another motherfucker. What's this guy doing? Carry on. <laughs> oh, God. I can hear you sniggering. I swear I can hear you sniggering. <laughs> <coughs> we good? Mm-hmm. You done coughing? Mm-hmm. Are you looking? I'll try to look away. <laughs> Don't look away. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another All Maverick reaction video where we are back with some more Lost. This week, it's season one, episode seven. Yes. Episode seven. The <laughs> Moth. The Moth. Right. So, uh-huh. we're going to get into this pretty quickly. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, I've seen Lost. I know Lost well. Jez has seen Lost once, all the way through. Doesn't. Forgot most of it. We're learning that Jeremy remembers none of it. Tom, mm. never seen Lost before. So, this is Tom's first. First time watching it, we're going to try and hold uh-huh. back from telling him anything that isn't shown inside the episode. Please, if you leave any comments below, don't tell him stuff he shouldn't know at this point. We'll talk about this episode or stuff that's come before. So, right, what did we see last episode? That was our sun focus. Sun and Jin. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, sun. Uh, yeah. Mainly sun, sun right? Mainly we, sun. we learned about Jin, but everything we learned about Jin was from Sun's perspective. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it was just a lot of learn about them. Uh, there was an attack. Yeah, a bit about his father. Yeah, the camp went into the jungle, some of them. Half of them stayed on the beach. Yeah. Uh, and Michael and Walt got a little bit closer. Yeah, I think those are the main takeaways. that they Yeah, the, the camp split. Uh, they were a bit sponsor closer. For a drug... <laughs> Locke has become drug a sponsor addict. for drug addict, being Charlie. And yeah, we learned a little bit that um, Sun and Jin maybe used to be more in love than they appear to be now. Um, you're not entirely convinced by this. No, no, no. You think they did used to be... You think they... They are in love, but Jin I think has they slipped were, into were in love. I think then a bad, Jin was a bad thing with Son's dad. Free work, corruption, and, power, money. He's, yep. Yeah, it's made him turn a little bit of an asshole. And you think that they were kind of both using each other. You think that they never really each loved each other, but were trying to each get something out of it. Jin oh no, 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 no. I think she was trying. To, he was trying to get something out of her, and she just had no choice. Okay. Because her, because okay. her dad liked him and he liked her. Okay, yeah. So yeah, you think yeah. it was like a forced marriage? Yeah, you think it, yeah, that kind of thing. Kind of. Yeah. Like, but she didn't seem too upset by it. But, like I said, she never smiled. <laughs> she never smiled for the whole episode. No. Nope. Right. So, so, this episode's called The Moth. I can't remember at all who this one's about. Uh, and there's no real indication, I don't think, in no. there from the titles. The last it's couple of generic, titles of, mm-hmm. we, you know, we had The White Rabbit. Uh, we had House of the Rising Sun, which felt like they kind of gave us indications yeah. as to who they might be about. This one, I haven't got a clue. So well, shall we? The moth, it? It's about the moth, the giant yeah. moth that lives in the forest, yeah. in, the, in the jungle. Uh-huh. Well, yeah, shall I would we... have remembered that. <laughs> yeah, you, you think? Well, I, I wouldn't bet anything past you. <laughs> right, let's go. Let's start this one. Ooh. Well, straight in with Charlie. Yeah, it's a bit Charlie episode. Drug sweat. Oh, look at that! He's got a sweat on. Oh no, he's he's, he's on the come down. I thought he? this was before. All right, this okay. Lock does have that face of someone you wouldn't really want to hang out. Yeah, he looks like he's really fucked you up, doesn't he? Yeah. Oh, no. oh shit. <laughs> Recording contract. You're going to be a rock god. Money, power, corruption. <laughs> Balls. Balls. That's it. Balls. Not hard. <clears throat> oh. I was losing it. Nice work, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> you make excellent bait. Oh my god. I'm glad I could oblige. That's not the only reason I'm giving you my bloody drugs. Oh dear. He's probably not intimidated by you. No. I've taken him. Got plenty of knives to. <laughs> yeah, to keep him at bay. Three antenna. Three points of a triangle. One here on the beach. Another. Saeed is a jungle. fucking grafter. Yeah. He doesn't get much appreciation, but he's just there getting shit done. The battery in the transceiver is dead. Without the transceiver, all of this is for nothing. Something from the laptop computer would probably work, but I've not been able to find anything. 
I think I might know where to look. I find the idea that you wouldn't so find a laptop it. insane. You're hoarding like a pack of <laughs> I love it. It's like the <laughs> Don <laughs> of the place sitting over yeah. his book. Artish. It is Watership Down he's reading. Still upset about your little breakup? Here, let me. I'll try the other zippers. Uh oh. Broken. Uh oh. Anything in there catching his eye? Yep. Don't leave him with the medical. Mm. He looks up and there's lock there sharpened in a blanket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's two. Oh, uh, have a headache. Diazepam. <laughs> what, you know, sniping? It's for anxiety. Charlie, leave it. Go get some water. Maybe you're I would feel it. like Jack would Charlie, I got it. know the... The yourself, traits man. of a of a drug addict on a come down. Like I feel like he would, you know. All those years as a back surgeon or whatever he was, spinal surgeon. Yeah. But he's not. They said earlier. Spinal surgeon. Yeah. I'm a bloody rock god. <laughs> oh god. Oh no. Oh. Well done, Charlie. Got out though. Where's Jack? To be fair, if raised voices are enough to bring yeah, down a bit of a cave, down, it, it might not be the best place to be setting up we were, camp. We were just talking and it, and it came down to us. All happened so fast. Oh, we gotta get help. What's wrong? Where's Jack? He's trapped. What? The, the cave collapsed. We didn't even know if he's alive. Come on, we gotta go. Hey, uh, uh, Scott? I'm Steve. I'm Scott. We got an Steve. emergency. Come on, grab Steve, Scott, come on. Uh, let's go. We gotta go now. Go, go, go. Come on. Hey, come on. I'm, uh, go. I'm more in... You know what? Shannon. I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna put it out there. We're gonna do something really important, okay? Five Belly Top Girl died. I think we said that, didn't we? Yeah, I'm going out there. We haven't seen her again. It, it was her that drowned. Crop top, wasn't it? Crop top lady. Belly top. Hi. Crop top girl. Top top She's only drowned, isn't she? Yeah. Rest in peace. But the yeah. antenna's power is really weak, so you She's have pretty busy. to wait until they Before fire their bottle rocket. Yeah, pull one out of my own. You fire this one, then you turn on the antenna. Got it? Gone but not forgotten. Switch is where now? It's like the Did you hear what I said? Can you or can't you do it? Yeah, I can. Okay. Right, so he's leaving Shannon to set off the... Set off the firework. Hey, wait, wait, Jack's in there. Let me check it out before you start moving things around. If it's unstable, well, how do you know? He's a firefighter. Construction work. Hey, Walt. Construction work. Oh, right. There we go. There you go. And take the dog. With you wanted to know about Michael, didn't you? Last episode. I, did. The jungle I look stuff. forward to Who's that. Where he is? Hey, what the hell are you doing here? Easy. I just came to tell you something. What makes you think I'm interested in anything you have to say? Oh. Don't tell her. I just came to tell you you were right about me. That I don't help anyone but myself. Oh. <laughs> Done it there. Here I am. Ready to pitch in. You're here to help. Hey. If you're acting more surprised, I'm gonna get offended. <laughs> nice. I like that. You're like, what, I'm skinning? You sat there skinning? No, 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 that saw it didn't tell him. Oh. After the... she was being a knock. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we can't safely make that tunnel any bigger. But since Jack can't get out, one of us is going to have to go in and unpin him. Well, what, crawl through that? Jimmy, well, I think you need someone smaller. Charlie? No, man, look, you're still too shook up. I might be able to squeeze through. Wait. Who's going to take care of your son if something happens? Liam! You're killing yourself with this junk. You're destroying drive shaft. No, I am drive shaft. No one even knows who the sodic bass player is. This is it, Charlie. End of the rainbow. Do you really think you can walk away? Then what, eh? Face it, if you're not in this band, what the bloody hell use are you? Liam, pass off! What a bell end. Mm hmm Cock. I think when we form our band, you'll be just like that, Tom. You'll be that egomaniac lead singer. Yeah. yeah, I can see it. Yeah, and? Yeah, the old Maverick band. <laughs> oh, let's do it. You've got more of a drummer look about you, though. I did, do like, I did have a drum kit in my bedroom when I was little. I do like the drums. Should we do it? Yeah, sure, why not? Cheers on vocals. 
I've sold loads of records. Actually, Brass used to be in a boy he band, did. so he could sing. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> it's not even a joke. Oh. Good job, Michael. Brilliant. Yeah. I'm dead. <laughs> How long's it been, Charlie? I don't know what you're going on about. Here we go. How long since your last fix? He did know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he did early, I think. When they were first in the cave. Yeah. Almost a day and a half. What's wrong? You seen something? The moth. Or what? Right behind you, look. look. It's the moth. There's, there's a bloody moth in there. Charlie, what are you doing? Don't move around too much, but it collapsed. The third time. It's nice of that moth to leave that huge tunnel for him to crawl up. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe they were just going to sit there and die and not bother looking for yeah. exits. Hey, it's the doctor! Oh, he, he scuppered that Ruined trick. Ruined it. Well, it's now my least favourite character. <laughs> Them right to the bottom. Oh, Shannon and Sawyer are gonna fuck it, do it properly. The two most unreliable people on the island. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right, everyone. Now I think Sawyer will do here. Is Sawyer unreliable though? Part of the air. Now is she on the other hand. are such idiots. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! That's right. I'm... You don't have to do it. Instantly. As long as they all go off. Yeah, exactly. I don't think Sai's si pissed off that it took a couple of seconds. As long as, oh, as long as all three go off, all that matters is the timing for the last one. There we go. Yes. Yes. Now oh, does Shannon know how to turn it? Sawyer. No, it can't be. He lit the fire. Yeah. Right. Oh no. Well, that's a clip I got. Easy to tell. Stretch my legs. Jesus. Give them to me. <gasps> no. This is the third time. Are you sure you really want it? I've made my choice. Give them to me, though. I've come to the dog. There's only delay in the inevitable, yeah. isn't it? Give them to me. That's why I only had like a pinch left. Oh, no. It's a little bit in there. Quite a lot in there, actually. Look at him. I am precious. <laughs> Burn him. He's going to put him in the Look how proud Locke is. Doesn't make everyone eating that boar a bit high <laughs> <Yeah>. now. <laughs> There's oh, another some rob. I always knew you could do it. Why does it taste like chemicals, Locke? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's panicking. What have I done? What have I done? There you go, so the moths got away. The moths escaped after making it, you know, having to do the hard fight to get out. Would actually be really attracted to the light of the fire. Yeah. Find <laughs> <the next time. laughs> yeah. Oh, there uh, we no. go. That was last season one, episode seven, the moth. So let's take a moment, gather our thoughts, and then we will have a chat about this one. Okay, so that 
was the moth. So I guess it's pretty fair to say that Charlie was the moth. Mm-hmm. Really, as we went yes. on. Um, obviously, this was a Charlie-focused episode. As always, jumping backwards and forwards between the island and what happened before the island. Before the island, we got to find out that Charlie was very much a, like a religious guy. He was into religion. He'd had a couple of one-night... Well, a couple of one-night stands. He slept with a couple of women yeah, one night. when his band was starting to get big. Yeah, and realised that made him realise that actually he needed to quit the band. But yeah. then... Just at that moment, he was going to tell his brother that he was going to quit. They got signed to a record contract. The rest of the episode saw how Charlie sort of moved into drug addiction through that. How his brother Liam, who was the lead singer of the band, um, kind of uh, took advantage of Charlie. Charlie was the singer. Of, no, Charlie was the writer. His brother was the singer. Um, but his brother Liam basically said, I am Drive Shaft. Like, you know, <laughs> yeah. that the band wouldn't be the band without him. Mm-hmm. Um, we then saw uh, Charlie start to turn to drugs. Um, but then we cut quite far forwards to obviously a few years later. So we saw Charlie getting onto the drugs. We never really saw much of him whilst on the drugs. We just saw a little while later when he went to Australia to see Liam again, who was now off of the drugs. And obviously a father, yeah, uh, husband, I assume, um, with Charlie trying to get him to come back so they could reform the band again. And go on another tour. But Liam said, no, that's not what I want anymore. I miss my daughter being born. Yeah. Uh, I want to be a, I want to be a dad now. So mm-hmm. Charlie leaving in anger because without Liam, there was no band. Yeah. Um, in the same time on the island, uh, on the same time on the island, what do we have? We had Charlie. Charlie um, was off the drugs. Charlie was off of the drugs. Um, now, did, did Locke take his drugs in... He the, gave the no, episode he, before. Episode before yeah, he, took episode drugs, before, yeah, right? he took the drugs, right? So there. in this one, he was trying to get his drugs back off of Locke. And Locke basically said to him, I'm going to give you three times to ask me for these drugs back. On the third time you ask me, I will give them back to you. Um, so that was something that ran throughout the episode. At the same time, there was a cave-in that took place at the caves where Jack got buried. Yeah. Um, Charlie managed to narrowly escape. The, the cave-in happened after... Charlie and Jack had a bit of a set to. Um, Charlie ended up saving the day. Yes. Going in, uh, going in to try and save Jack. They both got buried inside, but following a moth, they managed to escape out. Now, before that, whilst talking to Locke, um, after asking for his drugs the second time, Locke pointed out that there was a moth in a cocoon and it was starting to break its way out. Locke said, now I could help the moth get out, but if I made it easy and helped the moth get out, then it wouldn't have the strength. It wouldn't have grown strong enough to survive. Really alluding to Charlie and how yeah, Charlie has to kick the himself. habit himself. Yeah. He yeah. has to. He has to choose to not have these drugs if he wants to be strong enough to to go on. Yeah. Um, eventually, they found a way out and got out. And Charlie asked Locke for his drugs back, but then threw them on a fire and got rid of them himself. At the same time, there was another small side story going on, which was Saeed, Saeed yeah. Kate. And Boone... Later joined by Sawyer. Yep. And... And Shannon. Shannon, yeah. Yep. They were trying to put down three aerial, three sea, uh, aerials so they could do a signal tracker. Um, as you say, Kate ended up disappearing off uh, to go and help Jack, got taken over by Sawyer, and Boone got replaced by Shannon. We were pretty sure one of them was going to let the side down, but actually none of them let the side down, so... Pretty they, good. Yep, they each yeah. set up their aerials, their, their, their antenna... Set off their rockets. Said set off his. Shannon set off hers. Sawyer set off his. Said started to get signal, and all of a sudden he got knocked strong out. Strong signal as well. Strong wasn't signal. It? Very strong signal. He got knocked out, and we don't know what happened to no. him after that. So I thought it was going to end there. It yeah, felt like that was it, a, a big fade to black. <laughs> Long pause, and then yeah, yeah, back to Charlie's recovery. Yeah, so we had quite a lot. We had quite a lot going on throughout yeah. that episode. Um, of as always. First question, what did you guys think of this one? Good. I like the... I think I said it in the last one about, um, you know, Locke and Charlie are quite different. Mm-hmm. But, you know, they, they formed some sort of friendship and it's just continued. So, yeah, I, I, I liked it. Yep. What There's a lot of people one? proving their worth mm-hmm. is what I thought. I think Charlie proving his worth with... Mm-hmm. With going, it was almost a sacrifice mission, wasn't it? Going yeah, to help yeah, yeah. Jack. Yeah. So him doing that and fighting the habit and then... I think we were all of the opinion, like Sawyer going to let the team down. Or Shannon. He, or Shannon, but yeah. they didn't. Or Shannon almost did. She was only held out by a friend. But <laughs> yeah. at the same time, they didn't. No one let the... No one let the side it was down. It an important yeah. mission. No yeah. one let the side down. And, um, yeah. 
Yeah, it was good. So here's a question. Um, why do you think, why is, why is Locke helping Charlie? Like, is it just because he's a good man? He wants him to be, to do better? Or is, or is there more to it? Like, you, you know, is that just the kind of person that Locke is? I don't know. I guess he set his mind to it. He was like, I can help this kid, this mm-hmm. young man. So he's going to do it. Like, yeah. I don't know if there's anything more to it than that. He no. just... That's fair. Like, I'm not saying there is at all. It's just me wondering what you're... Yeah, yeah. What I your think at this are. moment in time, is yeah. Locke's the only one who we know, or he knows, that had something significant happen to him mm-hmm. on the island. Plus, he knows what the monster is. Yeah. And you made a comment, like, in one of the episodes that he, he's looked into the eye of he the... He did, the eye of the eye. Eye, eye yes. of the Actually, island. you know what? We skipped, We didn't talk about and that he last said it episode, was, but he, he did he say that. He said it was beautiful. Yeah. And we, we all presume he's talking about whatever he saw yeah. coming mm. through the bushes. So I don't know whether him trying to help people is more of a mm-hmm. I don't know if he sees himself as part of the island being able to help and improve people like he has been yeah 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 or what seeing thinking that I don't know yeah. he be maybe starting to see to the Charlie little or... um, imperfections in people like the things yeah. he had and, and the like yeah. so another thing we saw in this episode obviously we started out with Jack and Kate quite at odds which we didn't talk about last episode but that was where we finished we finished with both of them Last episode, looking into a campfire, yes. but both in their own mm-hmm. locations. Yeah. So this episode started off with them still at odds. Jack coming back to the beach to talk to Kate, um, but Kate going off on her mission. Jack still trying to get them to come to the cave. Uh, Sawyer being the opportunist that he is, yeah. moving in on Jack's camp, yeah. saying this is going to be his new. <laughs> this is going to be his new. Nice little spot, yeah. Exactly, it's nice. It's a nice yeah. new spot. Um, so that wasn't a big moment, but these were two characters who, by the end of the episode, we got to see sort of Kate and Jack coming back together or Kate yes. realising maybe she had feelings for Jack. Maybe like Jack Caesar is important. <laughs> Your face there. No, not not so. No, I think you're right. But I think I said it in last episode or an episode before. Like, I'm just not... I you're feel not like, in this relationship. I feel like they've just kind of... I know people in the comments are probably going to hate me. But I just feel like they've kind of forced this relationship. Like They've known each other like, exactly. like a week. Yeah. And like, yeah. you know, they're obviously... In love, but yeah. I don't know. They've it's... been through a lot in a week, though, haven't they? <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I think yeah. it's the one part of this show that I'm just not liking. Is there? You don't love like this this little love thing. Connection. I wouldn't mind it, but I feel like they've got together too soon. Yeah, and like, and I'm going to level with you. Uh, like one thing I do remember from the watching this originally is I didn't feel it either. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the Jack, Jack and Kate. Yeah. Any other little love connections you feel in here? Like I don't know, like anything, anything else. Well, there's the looks of Michael to Sun, Sun, isn't there? There are. We've seen those a few times. Yeah. Like those little those little moments. Because obviously the thing is that Sun obviously, like you said before, they've kind of got a couple of secrets that they're almost sharing. Like yeah. Michael's the only person who knows that she could speak English. Um, he was obviously quite, he was in that one. It was even just a little offhand comment that he made about them being Korean. Someone yes. was like, oh, they're speaking Chinese. And he was like, no, they're Korean. Like he, yeah. you know, he right. was... Putting the right, so maybe maybe there's something there between between yeah, those two. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. But I think he appreciates the fact because obviously he left Walt with her, yeah. and she taught Walt like to brush his teeth with the chai. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think, yeah, he, you think there's just like a friendship there between, the, like, or a trust between. Yeah, them. like they trust each other. Mm-hmm. I don't think ever anything will happen with Gina around. No, so I, they're, they're... I don't think it'd be. I don't think that'd be. <laughs> that'd be we don't think you'd let that happen. Yeah. Um, Cool. So yeah, we spoke. So um, let's talk a little bit about another thing that we saw in there that always keeps coming up, which is like the idea of faith. We keep seeing it. We saw it. We saw that obviously you wouldn't think of it, but Charlie was clearly very much a man of faith back, back in the past. You know, mm-hmm. very religious. And so faith is something that we we see and talking about a lot yes. in the show. Normally, normally around Locke, but not just Locke. We're starting to see more of that. Um, I, I don't see Locke as religious, but I no. see having faith in the island. Yeah, he's got yeah. he's got kind of a, a faith, a belief in something. A belief in something. Yeah, yeah it's I don't, not I don't think it's like your, 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 yeah, your Christianity or yeah. being Catholic or anything like that. I just see him as a... Yeah, and he, but and I mean, he has good reason as well right yeah. now to believe in, in something, right? Yeah, he's, yeah. he's your like, that's exactly the kind of like, healing that you'd always hear about what you see faith healers doing yeah. and you know ah uh, helping the helping the helpless to walk How again and exactly that kind of thing <laughs> so you know he has had that uh-huh. kind of faith experience yeah. so 
you know, understandably, well, we don't know if anybody else, because you you said before, has anybody else had else had a similar situation? We don't know, no, but yeah, no, yeah. more than anyone... We still don't know about Jack's dad. <laughs> he is still no, he might, yeah, I mean, I mean <laughs> is, is he Jesus? Jungle, yeah. Has he risen again? Um, <laughs> He's not a fan of body. No, exactly, exactly. So, you know, he's got a good reason for this uh, belief, in, yeah. belief in the faith. Mm -hmm. Um any other particular bits in there for you guys? I mean, we, we found out a little bit about Michael. Very small bit that Michael worked in construction. construction I only yeah. mentioned it because last episode you said that you were interested in learning a bit more about Michael. Yeah, I like Mike and Walt. I think they're my favourites. So. Yeah? Yeah. We don't I know what level of construction, whether, no. to, uh, whether he was... Uh, like an architect, an architect or an actual, or an actual builder. construction yeah. worker. But, um, but we did see him taking charge, didn't we? And Walt kind of having that moment. Yeah, you could see for a moment Walt yeah. was proud of his dad, seeing, oh, that's my dad yeah. kind of leading mm -hmm. when they were trying to deal with the cave-in. Um, so what is it about Walt and Mike, uh, Michael? Yeah, because you do really like Walt and Michael. I don't know. I like Walt and Michael, but... I think Walt's a pretty cool kid. He's quite yeah. funny. Yeah. He, he, he wants to get involved with a lot of things. And, you know... Um, and, then, and then Michael... I don't know. I just think we don't know too much about them for the most part. And I, I, I'm just kind of invested in their relationship and, you know, why what what happened between them. Mm -hmm. Now I think that I think one episode, one reason that I think this this isn't really a negative of the episode, but I felt like the stuff that took place off of the island wasn't as important as previous episodes. If you see what I mean. no, like the stuff off the not, island no. was all just very much. Yeah. Charlie's a drug addict. We knew Charlie band. was a drug addict. Yeah. yeah, there wasn't things like, oh, what's the relationship between Jin and Son's dad? Yeah. There wasn't, oh, how did how did Locke end up in a wheelchair? There wasn't. It didn't have those. Like everything to me, anyway, felt very kind of obvious. In there was nothing that happened with Charlie. Yeah, in his backstory, that would have affected the whole that yeah. we needed to that we had to that like, we had to know for for this. Yeah, yeah. I think what we did have though is, you know, Liam, his brother, kept calling him little brother, yeah. little brother. And then there was that scene where Sawyer was like, you know, I'm going to go tell Kate, you keep doing whatever it is you do. It's like everyone treats him like a little brother. Yeah. And yeah, I see that actually. Yeah. They treat him like they, they, no one really respects him, do they? Is the, and that's his thing. Yeah, he thinks, you know, after that Sawyer scene, he thought no one respects him, which is why, he, oh no, that was before when he was arguing with Jack. But, even with Jack, like I think he thinks Jack sees him as a little brother, like. Oh, definitely. He said that. That's what caused the cave in, right? He said that he was there with his guitar, and they said he and heard. He basically says Jack says you need to move your guitar because we need to put stuff there. And then he went and said, "You don't respect me. Yeah. Um, you think I'm a joke. You don't trust me to do anything. You won't give me any important jobs." So, yeah, yeah, he's got he's got that kind of thing. I think you're definitely right. Yeah, I think just he just thinks no one respects him, and they treat him like a little brother, like Liam did to him, and. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah. he's fed up with it. Yeah. Um, but also, you one of you said earlier in the episode, it was like, how how would Jack not notice he was on drugs? But I guess he had maybe noticed this episode or in the last couple. But yeah, like... Yeah, I was surprised when they were fumbling for that bag. I was like, how does Jack not know this is a guy who's on a come down? Like... Yeah. And then, you know, he mentioned it in the cave. I can't remember exactly what Jack said to him. Um, I can't remember. Uh, yeah, I can't remember. But he, he, he knew, and then the cave collapsed, and he was like, and they got separated. Well, no, they, um, no, he knew, he said that he knew about Charlie being on the come down after Charlie had gone back in to save him. But before that, he said something. Oh, did he? Did he insinuate before that? Yeah, that definitely. He, okay. Just, as the, just before the cave collapsed, when they were arguing, he said something. Right, okay, like, I must have missed that. He said something like, you're not with it right now, or okay. he said something oh, like okay. that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he did. So maybe he's known, but obviously not knowing yeah. him. Only I guess, him for six yeah. days, he's probably just felt like he needs to. Yeah, I guess also like he's probably of the opinion that they're in this island. If he's out of drugs, then he's going to go for a shitty time. But he'll he'll get there. At this point, when they were having the quite frank discussion about it, they both thought they were going to be dying in a cave together. So he kind of felt like, well, let's yeah. let's discuss this. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't think there's a lot of stuff to go into in regards to the before the island stuff because that no, all seems very I so. yeah, I think that was straight probably, to yeah. the point I mean unless I'm more there's... interested in who the hell's well that's what was... Saeed. who um, hit Saeed, Saeed in the head sorry. yeah um, I mean what do we think do we think it's one of our you know is it is it 
is it one of our main cast? Is it is it somebody else? What's the? No, I don't. Sorry, do you want to go first, Tom? No, no, go for it. Go for it. I don't think it would be because all of the main all of the main group were occupied. Yeah, they were too yeah. far away. Like you know, they were too far away, weren't they? I don't think there was anyone. Well, you'd think in that situation Close you'd by. go like ah, oh, like you, your number one candidate would probably be Sawyer, right? I don't think Sawyer's attack from behind sort of guy. Also, we saw he just let the fire. He work. just let the firework yeah. off right over to there, help. like yeah. only moments ago. So um, it was Vincent. It's the only answer, <laughs> right? He picked up a big, yeah. a big stick in his mouth and went. <laughs> or it was Rose. We haven't seen her either. Dodgy Rose. No, it wasn't. I um, don't know. Like I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm quite eager. To learn more about that. To know, to watch the next episode. Yeah, yeah. To find, hopefully find out the next episode. But Yeah. No, I, I mean, I thought it was a good episode as a whole. Less less um, mysteries added in with this one, other than the, the Saeed, the Saeed mystery, yeah, I think. Yeah, not many but, mysteries. I think it's just nice to know a little bit more in the background of people. Yeah. Even I, though if it didn't tell us much more than what we probably would have been able to guess or know already. Yeah, I think that's part of it, right? It didn't, Charlie's backstory didn't tell us anything we couldn't already put together. Yeah. Like, but, but that, that's not a bad thing. I still yeah. think it was a good episode. Yeah. I still, I liked the, I liked the moth analogy throughout. I thought yes. that was good. Yeah, that was good. Um, we saw, you know, after, after Charlie burnt his drugs at the end, we saw the moth sort of, um, it's a bit cheesy, but we saw the moth kind of flying off to the night sky, yeah. showing that it had managed to get out of it. It was free. It had got out of its cocoon, <clears throat> much like he had now broken out of free the one that was holding him. Okay. Exactly. So maybe we're going to start seeing... A Charlie, a slightly more head on straight Charlie from yes. here, you know, once he finally kind of gets through the, the mm-hmm. worst patch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, Charlie was religious. Maybe he's not going to be like a pastor or whatever they're called, but yeah. he might start preaching a bit more to people. Yeah, you think he might kind of get back to the stuff? Yeah. So yeah. have his faith kind of come back to him mm-hmm. a little bit. I mean, maybe, maybe if he spends more time hanging out with Locke. Yeah. I mean, what's their relationship going to be like from here on out, you know? Because Locke has been the person that's, you know, Locke didn't really doubt him. Locke had Locke had faith in Charlie as well yeah. that Charlie could make the right decision by himself. Um, a different kind of faith, but faith yeah. still. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then I guess that's about it. Like, okay. don't know who knocked out Saeed. I, maybe we'll find out next episode. Yeah, what so. is the next? What's the title of the next episode, Jez? Next one is. Next episode is. Confidence, Confidence Man. Man. Okay, I know what this one is. So, yep, the next episode is Confidence Man. Any mm-hmm. any inkling from that at all, Tom? Any idea what Confidence who Confidence Man could be about? Well, it's a terrible superhero name. <laughs> um, <laughs> but Tom, that's the best thing you've ever said. I think it's going to be about Sawyer. Because Con- he seems quite confident. Okay. Yep. He's a confident guy, isn't he? Yep. Okay, yeah, so... Maybe next episode will be about Sawyer. I guess we'll have to wait and see for that one. Mm-hmm. Okay, everybody. Well, yes. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Hit the sub- you really threw me for a minute there. Uh, if you've enjoyed this episode, please subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Leave a comment below. Remember, don't give us any spoilers. Tom, never seen Lost. Talk about stuff in this episode. Talk about stuff in the episodes that have come before. But please don't talk about how this episode can link to an episode in four seasons' time because there's no way Tom could know that. Um, if you have enjoyed this. Why not head over to allmaverick.com where you can check out our videos, our blogs, our podcasts, all that fun stuff. And go to twitch.tv forward slash allmaverick.live where on a Tuesday and Thursday evening from 9pm UK times we are streaming some of our favourite video games. Hopefully we can see you there. Come, have a laugh. We are trying to put my face tattooed on Tom. Yeah. That's right. Come along to the Twitch channel. That is the thing. Ah, Put in some channel points. Discord channel. The Discord. We do have a Discord channel. Yeah. Link in the description. Link in the description. Yeah, come, come along, along join the Discord. Yeah, yeah, lots of chat going on there. We've got a lot of the supporters over there. We're in there talking all the time. But yeah, if you come and watch us on Twitch, we put a, we put a channel point thing up to tattoo my face on Tom. That's right. <laughs> Tom thought it would be a good idea if we could reach half a million points that yeah. he'd get a tattoo of my face. I think I'm basically doing this. It's, it's going to be good. Uh, I'm it's going to good. go and live pose for it if we reach. There we're about a third of the way there. By the time this video goes out, I think we'll be over halfway. Oh, easily. Yeah. Yeah. By the time this episode goes yeah. out, yeah, we we'll need to be over halfway. It's exciting times, basically. Yeah. So if you want to come on and we'll see some people being stupid, come and check us out in all the things we just mentioned. The links are all below. Okay, everyone. Thank you for watching this video. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Bye.